Hello, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Kayla and today's video I'm going to be focused on uh, my favorites for the month of July. So some of the things that I have that I'm going to show I've used for a while um, and then just kind of stopped using it but now I'm kind of going back into it. So I kind of like to, I have so many different products and then with the subscriptions that I have signed up for, um, I'll start using some of those things on a regular basis and then I'll forget about other things that are really good but I just, you know, I'm always just trying something new just to try it. So, um, so yeah, and then some products um, that I have are just completely new um, for this past month. So I just want to start off with skincare. It's not makeup, but it's definitely important. Um, just to have that good base before you're starting with your makeup. So, um, first thing that I have is St. Ives, and it's a green tea scrub, blackhead clearing. So, this is formulated without parabens, it's hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, and it's non comedogenic. Um, and the, it says the exfoliation factor is moderate, so on the back right here. Um, this has been pretty awesome and it's 100% natural exfoliants. Um, so I've used their apricot scrub before and that worked, it worked okay for my skin, but um, I feel like this worked a lot better um, just because the, like the little microdermabrasion, um, little pieces in it, it really works well as a scrub. Um, and I definitely work into my nose. I don't know what it is, but I, you know, I mean, everyone's going to get blackheads, but, um, I feel like this definitely helps clear it out a lot better. Um, I had been using Proactive for maybe about seven years prior to trying this, and it's only a fraction of the price. I mean, just Proactive, it's a really good product, but it just, I felt like paying 30, 32, 33 dollars every few months for, um, replacing the, re what is it, the renewal cleanser. I just felt like that was getting a little too expensive over time. This is like three or four dollars, and you can get it pretty much any drugstore. I buy mine at Target, um, and it's just been awesome. Um, I feel like it has, again, just really helped blackheads and whatnot, like it says it does. And it's funny because I realized, you know, I have been using like the Biore pore strips, um, and I love those things. It is amazing to see what you get out after using those. It's kind of gross, but like kind of satisfying at the same time in a way. But I feel like since I've been using this, that I haven't needed to use a, a pore strip as often. Um, I mean, I still use them like pretty much on a weekly basis, at least once a week, but this has definitely helped so much. I mean, since I've used this, when I look at those little pore strips, it's not as bad as how it was a year ago, a few months ago. <laughs> it's pretty crazy to see how well this has worked, but I definitely recommend it. So, the next thing that I want to talk about is this sample that I got from Sephora. Um, I had some points and I decided to get some stuff. And um, this is by Pharmacy. It's the Rise and Shine Daily Moisture Lock with Echinacea Green Envy. Um, this has been really great. So I've been using this for maybe, it's been two weeks now that I've had it. And what I do is I put this on before I put on my makeup and you really don't even need a lot. I'll also use it at nighttime. I haven't been using it every night, but um, when I do use it, I'll just take like my, my pinky nail clean, of course, and I'll just scoop it into the, the little um, container and just kind of spread it around on my fingers and then put it over my face. But um, it definitely has smoothened out my skin. I feel like it's made a nice difference. Um, and it's not, it doesn't have like a sticky tacky feeling and I really like that too. Some moisturizers have done that before and it just, I don't know, I feel like uncomfortable, like my skin after using things like that. But this has been, it's gone on really smoothly. The only thing is I've noticed um, after, let me see, I think the last couple days that I used it, 
I did notice it was kind of like after I put it on my skin it got like kind of um, crummy I don't I don't know if that's the best way to describe it and I don't know what it was exactly I don't know why I I have no idea so I don't know we'll see I'm gonna try it when I go to bed tonight and I want to see if it does that again um, I mean it's nothing bad it's just it kind it's kind of weird like after putting it over your face I noticed like like if you rubbed your fingers like this it got like like it rolled up and like a little I don't know I don't know how to describe it but anyways so it was okay though um, the next thing I want to talk about is foundation so it's the even better makeup um, broad spectrum SPF 15 and it evens and corrects so there's actually a lot more um, details about this product on sephora.com if you pull it up on there um, but I do like that this is dermatologist tested and it's um, fragrance free it's allergy tested um, but I definitely noticed a difference so um, again, just with my acne and whatnot, um, sometimes I have like redness, um, you know, just across my face, certain places, and I feel like this doesn't add to me breaking out on top of just, you know, regular hormonal things or whatever, but um, it's great coverage and I feel like my skin is still breathable after putting this on. Um, compared to like the MAC foundation that I really wanted to love it I it's just the formulation it did not work well with my skin I was breaking out like crazy especially across my forehead area and this not so much like I mean again other than just regular hormonal things that your body goes through on a monthly basis this is it's been pretty awesome but I do feel like I, again, I just don't break out as often after wearing this makeup, so I love that about it. Um, I am in the shade 05 Neutral. Is that showing up? So, um, the next thing I want to talk about is brows. Now, this is the Benefit Browsing Kit in Dark. I think I've had this for three years I don't know um, at least two but I love this thing this was I think $32 when I got it and I bought it at Ulta so and you can tell I mean I have put in some work with this so it's this little compact the wax here and then a setting powder and then I'm gonna pull these out it comes with the best little tweezers ever and this is so perfect for touching up this is how my how I do my brows and I actually want to do a, a separate video on how I do my brows because I constantly get asked what I do with my brows how I do it who does them everything and yeah I'll just I'll have to do it then so I'll use this one to set the wax and then I use this one to set the powder on top of it and I love this one. It's got the little angled brush and it's perfect for drawing out how you want your eyebrow shape to be. It is amazing. And then I'll take this and fill in any, you know, kind of like um, lighter spots that may need to be filled in. It's just, it's, a, I love it. It's the best thing ever. I feel like I should replace it. They recently launched um, their new like designs and whatnot. And the handle, it's like two, I think it's like two in one, and it's a long, longer handle for the brushes. I want it so bad, but I'm like, this still works just as well. Um, I mean, you know, products will expire over time, but I feel like this thing, I mean, maybe I've just gotten used to it. I don't know, but I feel like it works amazing, and I get complimented even more now than I did before. So, what does that tell you? Benefit makes good products. <laughs> so the next thing that I want to discuss is This mascara right here. So this is the Smashbox full exposure and um, This was a sample I got I think around the holiday times and I got so many different samples around that time that I'm like just been using this for the last month and 
it's got this really big brush on there and what I like about it is that it really separates your lashes um, and it lengthens them as well the only downside is it does not curl them whatsoever not mine anyway um, but I just it I wanted to love it so bad if it had curled better it would be perfect um, just the way it separates the lashes and lengthens them that's the only downside to it but also the formulation is um, it is really well it lasts all day it does not smudge or anything like that um, I don't know if it's waterproof or not it doesn't say on the packaging um, but I, I do like it I really do um, it just it could be better if it was curly. The next thing I have is lipsticks. So this one has been my go-to for the last month. And I, I've gone through my phases where I won't use it because I'll get something new. So I'm working on that new thing. But this is the Maybelline in Siren and Scarlet 690. And it is a matte lipstick. So funny story, for Christmas one year, my grandma, she was like crazy about these matte lipsticks that Maybelline had been advertising. Um, and she, I don't even know what shade she wanted, but um, I thought this was like close to this shade that she wanted and I showed it to her and it wasn't. And I was going to return it and then I just got so busy around the holidays with work and family things going on that... I ended up not having a chance to go return it where I got it from and then I I looked at the color and I was like you know what I actually like this color for myself like what are, what was I thinking so I kept it obviously um, so this is the shade right here and it's actually what I have on right now um, and you can tell I've been wearing this thing out so it, it doesn't even have like the like the slant anymore um, but I just I love this color I love it. It reminds me of like Marilyn Monroe, like Gwen Stefani kind of red. It is perfect. I love it. Um, and then what I pair it with is this NARS lip liner. And I actually got this from Sephora. It was their um, like a birthday thing that they had last year. And this is in the shade Cruella. <laughs> um, but it is a velvet matte lip pencil. And it's so weird. It smells like a fruity candy. I, I don't know. I want to say like a sweet tart. It's weird, but I love it. I love it so much. And I've been wearing it like, like crazy. So those two have been my go-to if I don't know like what to wear. Um, the next thing I got is this little, this was another birthday thing that Sephora had. So this is the Marc Jacobs. And it came in a little um, box with a black eyeliner as well. I haven't even used that yet. But I just, I love it. It's so little, so cute. And I've never used Marc Jacobs, um, like, lipstick before. But this is it right here, this little guy. And it's kind of like a, like a pinky mauve, pinky nude kind of color. But it's so adorable. And I really loved it. And it went on so smooth. And it was so hydrating throughout the day. Um, my lips didn't feel chapped. Like, I'll be honest with like this Maybelline, I'll put on like a little bit of chapstick because it does get chapped throughout the day. Um, it definitely dries your lips out, but this has been so awesome. Um, I mean, I've looked at Marc Jacobs products before and they're just out of my price range, but I feel like I would actually buy this one. We'll see. <laughs> but I, I do love it. I really do. It's so good. The next thing that I have is... A palette this is the uh, Gwen Stefani Urban Decay and I love Gwen she is my idol I freaking love her like you don't even know um, so of course when she launched this <laughs> I don't want you to guys to see everything back there but when she launched this last year I had to have it and then I ended up getting a coupon from Sephora for like 15 dollars off or something and I was like okay so yeah this is it right here these are all the colors now my go-to um I'll use let me see 
So this one is Stark. I'll use this as my uh, like transition shade. And then I use this one in the corners right here, the darker one. Um, so the first one, the transition, that one is Stark. Um, the one that I use in like the edges, the corner of my eyelids is Zone. And then I've been using Baby right here. Um, this is kind of like, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say like a rose gold. It's kind of like a metallic pink kind of color. And then mm, Steady is like a lighter pink. And I use that one as well, like more like over this. But I'll use, what was it? I'll use Baby over Zone. And then I'll put a little pop over everything. Um, and then I use, I mix blonde and blonde right here in bath water to highlight the inner corners of my eye and then under my, bri my brow bone. So that's what I like to do with them. Those are the colors that I have been using recently out of this palette. So, um, I mean, when I use a palette, I'll try to use those specific colors in that palette to make a look. Um, and I feel like I have been using so many other things that I had, um, newer things that I bought since then, that I kind of forgot about it, and I didn't want it to just sit there. So I was like, okay, I've got to put this baby to use. The last thing that I have, um, another phenomenal girl that's out there, a YouTuber that I also follow, Miss Jacqueline's Hill, Jacqueline Hill's palette from Becca. So um, it's got the Rose Spritz, Amaretto, Pample Mousse, um, champagne pop of course and Prosecco pop and it's funny prior to this face palette I had never used champagne pop before I just felt like I couldn't afford it but when this came out I was like okay I did the math and it was like what $14 more than just champagne pop alone and you get five things in it so the the three um, blushes and then the two highlighters and I just I love it I I've been using this one like crazy. This is the Rose Spritz. Um, that's the Amaretto and then Pamplemousse. And it's just, I love to switch them up too. And, you know, it, it's just, I feel like they are the perfect blushes. Those are my shades that I love to use. Um, the pink one especially, I mean, I just need like a little bit. And the it's so pigmented. I just need to like like dab the brush into the product like a little bit and then there's so much on there it and it shows up so good I don't know how it's showing up on here but I love it it has been so great and the formulation is so buttery um she did such a good job uh partnering with Becca Gwen Stefani did with Urban Decay I love when um people that I follow do collaborations and it goes really well it's just it's awesome and it's so awesome to be able to support them as well so you go Glen Coco well that's it for my July favorites I hope that anyone who's watching this out there liked it um, you know if anyone wants to comment and let me know like what your July favorites have been uh, maybe something that I have never heard of before. I'd love to try it out. I love trying out new things all the time. So yeah, definitely let me know. Feel free to give this a, a thumbs up, like it, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, but I will catch you on my next video. Have a great day. Bye.